There are 136 hostages still in Gaza. To most of us. The hostages is just a word and the 136 is just a number. But that word and that number. Um, it doesn't get easier every time you talk about this. Um, are deeply painful to these people. Our life does not belong to us anymore. Each of them is related to one of the 136. They put them into a car and zip tied their hands. Moshe Lavi's brother-in-law, Omri Moran, is a hostage, left behind his wife and two baby girls, who barely survived October 7th. Were held at gunpoint in their home, which was ravaged, they were abused. Both of Dalia Kusnir's brothers-in-law, Eitan and Ayer Horn, are hostages too, as is Liel Slifer's cousin, an occupational therapist named Carmel Gott. Our families have been held 117 days as hostages in Gaza, and it feels like the whole world is just forgotten. Moshe, Dahlia, and Liel have been called crisis actors, told by strangers their loved ones deserved it. The milder message will just call us liars, <laughs> which is also very hurtful. But they do not allow that to shift their focus. This week, representatives from several countries met in Paris to discuss a possible hostage deal between Israel and Hamas. These three have deep faith. A deal will get done. I know they're coming back. I know it has to be soon. There's not, I don't see any other option. A solution was found for the first wave, and so there, is, there are ways to find solution for the second wave. For 117 days, it's all they've prayed and advocated for and they will stay at it for as many as it takes. Everything, everything is in pursuit of bringing them home. In Dallas, I'm Sydney Person.